Hi there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and I have a short tutorial how to sort of thing for using the new Pocket Page Maker Actions. Um, these are for personal and commercial use. I figure there's a lot of you out there that one, you want to make quick pocket, pocket templates for your customers, or you're a scrapper and you're like, you know, I want to make my own set of templates, I want to save it, pull it up every time to be able to use it for whichever. Um, and the the uh, amount of different variations you could make is almost endless. Um, I've had some people looking at it, <laughs> some people with doctorates, and, and they still can't figure out how many uh, variations there are. So one day when I know, I'll let you guys know. All right, so first things first, you would have loaded your actions. If you don't know how to do that, there's a link below. Um, next, we're going to open up our base file. Here it says base. There's backup, just in case you overwrite your file. Um, hopefully you won't base. Um, if I were you, I would just go ahead right off the bat and save as something new. All right, so you're like, Leah, what is this? It's like a plain white paper. Well, no, there are guides. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to view, then choose guides, then view and lock guides. That way you don't accidentally move them around a little bit. Um, due to the way that Photoshop Elements is working lately with the new Creative Suite changes with uh, rounded squares and rectangles, I had to create uh, those shapes for us. So what you're going to need to do then is to go to open and you'll see here it says PSC rounded shapes and load that up. I think that's the third time I've loaded it. So whenever I click here, you're going to see that I have like a ton <laughs> of shapes. Um, I'll let you know how many times I've tried to do this tutorial, right? Uh, anyway, moving on. Um, once you've loaded your shapes, you go to your uh, photo effects and then there'll be a drop down. You'll see it says 183 size rounded uh, shapes and pocket shapes uh, squared. So we're gonna use the rounded as you see there. Um, and you're just going to come up with a, whatever template you want. You can do something really plain or something really complex. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's really all up to you at this point. You just double click on your um, the corresponding size and drag them where you want. The reason why the guides are there is to help snap them into place. If your uh, guide is not snapping, go to view, snap to, and guides, and that will uh, make sure everything's doing what you want it to do. So let's do some three by fours first. I'm going to do one, two, three, four of these, I think. Um, we're going to have them there, 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 and one more here. I'm going to make a six by four. I think I'm going to leave that six by four right there. What do you think? Like a nice one in the middle. All right, let's see. Now let's do some... Hmm three by twos. So three by two there and there. We'll do those again. And some more there at the bottom. Now let's see, we have a, a three wide space and all those. So what you would do is just kind of look at your options of what, what could you do here. Um, I think we could put, let's see, we could do one, I think we can do manage two of those. That's kind of fun. Let's do two more. I like things that are kind of symmetrical. I'm sure I'm not the only one. And then our last spot here, you can see that there's only going to be one size that's going to fit there, which would be a three by two again. So we'll put one there and we snap right into place. And there you have it. We just made our own template. It was that quick. Not bad, right? Well, now you probably like, Leah, I'd like some decent spacing. I, I really am not a fan of like how on top of each other they are. Well, that's what our resize um, actions are for. It gives you a one eighth of an inch uh, around resize of each of these. Make sure you use the right um, size for the shape. You can tell whenever you create your shapes, the shapes are named the size that it is. So um, we'll start with our three by twos. And you'll see here three by two resize and I'll just double click and it resizes it for me. So let's get them all done. Down here. I like to do things in order, if at all possible. We're gonna do our three by threes next. Not the most common size in the physical realm of uh, pocket pages, but in the digital realm, we can do what we want. <laughs> anyway, um, and now our three by fours. And 
and lastly the six by four and you can see there that we have perfect spacing around our um, shapes except it's very close to the edges so what you're going to do we're going to turn off the guides so you can see better what i would have you do is select all your shapes do a control t um, have it constrain the proportions like it says and if you want it to be like a regular page I would just go to maybe 99% and that gives a nice little border around everything however if you like you know any shape you can always or like size you can you know 80% why not you know I've seen pages and templates all shapes and sizes uh, it's a lot of fun but I think for us we're just gonna go to 99 all right and there you have it apply it's done um, if you like to have uh, simplified layers and not shape layers, you can always just right click and simplify your layers. You can change the colors, obviously. Um, I mean, you can really just do whatever you, whatever you want <laughs> with this. Like I said, it's for personal and commercial use. You can, um, you know, create templates for sale with this if you'd like. Um, just, you know, obviously you can't sell the action. Uh, <laughs> those are mine. Um, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoy this set and have a lot of fun with it. I really think there's almost endless possibilities, mathematically even. So, um, have a great day and bye-bye.